Hey, we have picked up two bicycles, two vintage steel frames. As you can see, we have a Jan Janssen. I think it's a Dutch or a Belgian bike. It still looks in very decent condition. This will be a nice flip. We got this for 40 bucks. Very nice deals. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. So I'm still in my holidays and today there's another bike restoration that has to be done. So this one here, the Jan Jans Tour de France edition. There, you can see it on many spots here. It says Tour de France and also on the tires there, Tour de France edition. They're probably almost as old as the first Tour de France. <laughs> you can see at the rear, the tires absolutely popped. We have to replace them. Uh, we cannot use them again. So it needs tires. Of course, a new handlebar tape. I'm gonna go with white. Also, it needs some pedals. I think I'm gonna get the pedals from another bike that I have in the shed, which is not complete, but it has nice pedals, which will uh, work with this bike very well. Yeah, so uh, these are the few parts that we're gonna replace. Other than that, yeah, the cable's a bit rusty, but uh, maybe they still work, so I'm not gonna make too much out of it. And also, yeah, we have to clean the parts up so that it actually looks nice and shiny again and not so uh, dusty. So yeah, I have to hurry up. I want to film this while the sun is shining and it's starting to fade away behind the house. So yeah, I uh, want to get cracking. Let's bring this bike back to life, shall we? I can't wait. See you when it's done.
here we are in our little Funatec studio and we're making some pictures of the finished bicycle, the Jan Janssen Tour de France from the 80s Dutch bicycle. And I think it came out pretty nicely. The royal blue color with the chrome fork absolutely looks stunning. And also uh, with the new tires, the Michelin Dynamic classic tires, it looks just fantastic. Pretty stoked, we turned a 30 euro bike, which nobody would want anymore, into something somebody would buy. And as a matter of fact, as we're standing here, I've been taking pictures, putting it up on eBay already, and it's already sold. Unbelievable stuff, but yeah. I'm a little bit sad now that it's already gone, the bike, but yeah, that's how it goes here on the channel. We invest some time and effort in a bike, and then we have to let it go. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it is. At least we can have some fun riding it later, just in a few seconds. Before we're going to do that, I want to talk a little bit of, about the parts and the struggles we had. In terms of struggles, there weren't any major, but we had a little bit of surface rust on the chrome fork and also some rust on the steerer tube. So we had to treat that with some Corust, which eatens up the rust. And then we used an acrylic pencil in this metal blue color and touched it up. The most work really was to clean all of the gunk, all of the dirt off the bike, which was quite a lot. <laughs> you can imagine this bike has been sitting in the garage for probably years, maybe even decades. Mechanically, everything is working, the wheels and also the shifting so that's nice and also the brakes are working so in terms of parts not too much we had to change we changed the pedals because the ones which were on there were just ugly so i had them lying around didn't cost me anything for the tires we went for the michelin dynamic classic you can get them for 10 a pop i think they look absolutely awesome and also we changed the brake pads like these, which is yeah very important. I would recommend you for yourself doing this. If you want to restore such a bike and you want to enjoy riding it, then definitely change all the rubber components like the tires so you have much more grip on the road and also change out the brake pads. Because over the years, over the decades, the rubber tends to get hard and uh, you will lose grip on the tires and also the brake pads when they are hard then they won't break as good and you will just scratch your aluminum rim. So yeah, definitely change out the rubber components if you want to do this yourself. Also, we went for just a nice white handlebar tape. I just went for the cheapest I could find in a local store, to be honest, but I think it looks uh, very nicely. Only thing I maybe I would change in the future would be put some, uh, some nice hoods on, uh, maybe in brown, but yeah. As a matter of fact, it's already sold, so we don't have to do anything else. But get this thing out and ride it. So yeah, if there's anything you liked here, then please click that like button, subscribe to the channel to see many more bicycle restorations. Yeah, and also don't forget to click that notifying bell so you don't miss any new uploads. I tend to upload on Mondays or Sunday, so you don't miss any of the new stuff. All right, hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, as always, I will catch you for the next bicycle restoration or the next video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.